Hi everyone, welcome back. We have made it to Poland. I'll show you our meat hotel. I'm staying with someone from another country, which is awesome. New friends. New toilet, which is nice. And then bed number one, bed number two. And this is me. I'm on this bed because I was the second person to get here. So best in, best pick. And I was not best in, so not best pick. This will be our warm up track for tomorrow, which is indoors, which is nice. Although it's meant to be a nice day tomorrow, so that's good. Today's warm up, slight headwind, but that's okay. Hopefully it's just not it tomorrow. Good morning, everyone. It is race day. I feel like I haven't raced in like 10 years, but in reality, I only raced like a month ago. That's actually crazy that it's even been like three, four weeks already. Like where has my time gone? I don't know. An update though, finished my games. I had a week off completely because my neck was just like not it. So I had a week off completely. And then we had like a two week training camp where like the first week was very much like just moving my body. Um, and then the second week was more intense. We're in Poland today, which is really exciting. I've never been to Poland and so far I'm actually really enjoying it. The weather is actually really nice and it's quite cheap compared to a lot of other places that I was going to. I don't know why I had it in my head that I thought it was going to be really expensive, but it's actually like, it's actually a great location. We're racing in a one and a two. This meet today is actually, it's classed as a, like a, a bronze level meet. It should be a B because the amount of level of like talent that I'm racing against is actually crazy. Most people have made an Olympic semi-final. I'm in the B final for the 100. I'm still so fine because I still have an 11 flat runner and a, a couple of 11 one runners. And then in the two, I'm in the A final, which I'm really excited about. So this is gonna be my second individual A final of my life. It'll be nice to just be racing and get some really fast girls and hopefully just get some times. The main reason I am continuing to race because I want some races in my season for next year. The qualification period is already open for next season. I wanted a couple of races in there so my life isn't as stressful next year like it was this year because this year I had nothing in my sample pot and we just were racing and racing and racing. So don't get me wrong, I still want to keep racing. It'll be nice to have some options and I'm really excited but I feel like so weird I don't know if anybody can relate to this but I'm so used to just having my coach not necessarily on game day but during my lead up to race day and so I don't know am I fast usually I'm so used to doing a rep or something and then my coach is like yeah we're ready to run fast but now I'm assessing it myself and I'm pretty good at that by myself to be honest I'm really good with where my body positioning is what was good what was bad so that's why I've been training by myself it's actually been fine because of you know this is wrong this is wrong this is wrong but it's always so nice when someone just tells you like we're ready to run fast I just want to go out there and run fast hopefully I can I have actually got no idea what I will run at the moment I look at the winds and uh, I think I'll be running into the headwind today but that's all right we're just gonna be like a brick wall and just like drive through that wind oh oh I have a tar and popped all in my makeup bag all right so my makeup is done and it literally only took me four minutes and 16 seconds I would say that's very good we're gonna race in this jagged red suit we're gonna go for the shorts I have worn this, but I've worn leggings over the top, but we're gonna go for the shorts today because it's quite warm. Now we're gonna do my hair. We're just gonna go for the classic tie back pony with two braids. It's really good in the blocks. Let's get ready, guys. I have to admit, I am starting to get a little bit nervous. It's like I'm having so much fun just like enjoying myself and running. I just love running. <laughs> I love running and I love traveling and I love doing all of this. So I don't, like I'm like in mixed emotions about it nearly being done. Like this is my second last race and I don't want it to be. I just want to keep racing and racing and racing and racing. But at the same time, my body definitely is like a unique break. No i dobry start Stefanowicz. Wydaje się, że ona w tym momencie dobrze biegnie, ale także Cima Nauska kapitalnie rozpoczęła. No, ale to kotwiła. Kotwiła wygrywa. 100s are done. We are straight to the warm up track for this 200. Oh my god. It is hot in here. Set. Poglarka taka, Jessica Wesoli e, dobrze rozpoczęła także Cimanowska, Krystyna Cimanowska. W tym momencie wydaje się, że jest szansa na to, by 
wbiegła na drugim miejscu na ostatnią prostą. Tutaj Boglarka Takacz z lewej strony ekranu wydaje się, że w tym momencie na pierwszym miejscu, ale słabnie Węgierka przyspiesza Cimanauska. Boglarka Takacz, Krystyna Cimanauska na drugim miejscu. I'm just sitting at the end of the finishing line. Just that's the finishing line there. Oh my god, I feel so sick. I want to blow chunks all over this track. I'm trying to hold it in because I don't want to be that one person, but... Oh god. We are just watching the rest of the athletics. Look at this view. Oh. I love European racing. How's the music? Our first 100 and 200 races are now done. First ones post Olympics. I have to say, the 100, I did get left in the blocks. <laughs> However, I did come home really well. Let's not think about the time. Time is irrelevant. Huge headwinds. Some headwinds were like three point something. My wind was like a one point something. Nevertheless, it was still slow. Should have ran faster. But my 200 was really good. This guy thinks it was my best reaction start. And I felt like it was. In the 100, he said, set, go, really quickly. And I was so unsure that I thought someone had broken. Come the 200, I was so prepared for that set. And I just nailed it, I think. And then I had a brilliant bend. And then I came off the bend really, really well. And then I started tensing up like I did in my 200 meter heat at the Olympics. And then I was like, no, Mia, don't tense up. That did not work well for you at all. And then I was fine. It was a 23-3, was it? 23-4? I don't know. I get into a little headwind. You know, but I loved every single second out there. I was frothing it. When you're really happy or really excited, you could talk for 24 hours straight. Am I happy now? Yes, he is bleeding. <laughs> I swear, guys, I'm not actually a waffler. <laughs> I'm a waffler when I'm happy and excited and content with life. So I'm a waffler. And that's her secret. She's always happy. <laughs> And I'm always happy, so I'm always a waffler. I think I'm mostly excited because I find like little things of like parts of the, my race that make me so excited. I feel like I can run a really fast 200 and I feel like that 200, it like showed me like I'm starting to get really good on my bands. I'm so excited because I know it's in there somewhere and I get glimpses. I get glimpses and then it gives me a little bit of hope. So are you making up tomorrow? One <laughs> How was your race? I was not 100% happy with it, but the condition was not that great. We'll yeah. just take it. You know that she's been to four Olympics? <laughs> not one, not two, <laughs> not three, but four. What was your favorite Olympics? Definitely London 2012, Ooh. my very first one. Why? I feel like it was my first time there. I actually ran next to Alison Felix. She was like in the lane right next to me. Oh she was God. in lane three, I was in lane two. So I was just so like starstruck. I was like, Alison, I love you. That kind of thing. I didn't really say it, but that's what I was thinking. Instead of focusing on my race. But the race went well anyway. I was very happy with it. It was so exciting. Oh my God, oh my God. It's another day of packing, guys. It's just a lot of stuff. Just we have made it to Berlin. We should stay in Berlin for a couple of days before we head off to Copenhagen because it was a little bit cheaper. We're just gonna do a little session. I didn't want to do too much, so we're just gonna do some 60s in flats, 360s on the bend, 360s off the bend. Pulled up so sore from competing, so I just didn't want to push it. Just, I'd rather race and just let my body recover and then race. Session is done. My body is still so sore. It was exactly what I needed. I'm glad that I didn't push my body and make myself go faster. I've been getting good night's sleeps, but like, 
Look at my eyes still, like they're just big and puffy. So I'm clearly just like tired. I genuinely thought that I would just be able to start racing and then just keep racing and racing and racing. I was actually meant to race again today. Coach knows best. He said, no, don't do it. So we didn't do it. And I'm so glad because I am so sore. So we go to Copenhagen soon, guys, which is really exciting. Yeah, we'll race again. But until then, like, comment, subscribe. You guys are actually amazing. Cannot believe that there's nearly 13K of you. Thank you all. You guys have no idea how much that actually means to me and all that support so I'm very grateful have a beautiful day guys I love you all bye